All right, today we are on 2010 Ford Escape. We're going to be illustrating how to attach the Pro Clip center mount for this vehicle. All right, there's a few things we want to mention before we get started. First of all, look over the photos, read over the instructions, try to become familiar with the process before beginning. Uh, next is attach the Pro Clip onto the uh, vehicle prior to attaching anything onto the faceplate of the mount. And uh, lastly, we want to mention that this Pro Clip comes with some double-sided tape. You'll see it here as the blue sheets. Remove the covering from the tape. The residue from the tape won't stay on the vehicle if you ever want to remove the mount in the future. With that said, we'll get started with uh, this Pro Clip comes with a gap opener. The, uh, the gap opener is designed to uh, help you to uh, widen up or, or open a gap further to insert uh, an angled edge of the Pro Clip into. And uh, speaking of the angled edges, on the, uh, the, right, or the left side of the Pro Clip, you'll see a sticker that says ProClipUSA.com. We put it on there. That is the left side. And on the, uh, the, the forward facing left side of the Pro Clip, there's a, an L shaped angled edge. And on the right side of the Pro Clip, there is another L shaped angled edge. These will go into seams before we're done here. Now, getting back to the gap opener, there is a, a frame, if you will, around the speedometer area. And then there's another panel that, uh, that surrounds the center console. This gap opener will slide into a seam between those two panels. Once the seam is opened a little, the left angled edge will slide into the seam. Now it's a little bit of a, a tricky edge. Uh, you'll want to lay the, the Pro Clip flat, if you will, against the dash so the sticker, the ProClipUSA.com sticker, is facing the speedometer. Once it's that way, hold the, and now we're not removing the covering from the tape because we'll be taking the mount right back off, but uh, hold the Pro Clip into the seam and as you rotate it to the right, make sure that the angled edge slides in and hooks under that uh, panel that surrounds the speedometer. Just like that, you can remove the gap opener. Next is this Pro Clip has a little bit of a flex to it and you'll need to flex the Pro Clip towards you and you'll take the, L, uh, the, the right L-shaped angled edge and slide it into a seam. Uh, there is, a, again, the frame around the uh, center console and then there's a frame around the, uh, the vent area. If you'll flex it towards you and it'll slide uh, and hook it over and the angled edge should go into the seam between those two panels. You'll hear it click into place. Once it's attached, you'll have a nice solid mounting platform to attach a Pro Clip device holder onto. We hope this illustration helps. Have a great day.